been a big story we've been following. We're getting ready for the holiday season, right? And I know many of you still dealing with your mail being delayed. Well, we now have new information about why, all thanks to a brand new audit. Tonight, the results of that audit renewing calls for new leadership at our postal services. WJZ Live at the Post Office in Dundalk. Paul Gessler breaking this one down for us. We know you learned a lot from today's audit, Paul. Yeah, there's a lot in this as well, Nicole. Good evening to you. On the day the inspector visited this location in June, they had 163,000 pieces of delayed mail. Management reported zero delays. And that and more is in this new inspector general report. Outside the Dundalk Post Office, we shop here, we live here, we notice these things. They don't need a government audit to tell them what they already know. It's, it's been terrible. The mail's been absolutely terrible. That's exactly what this Postal Service Inspector General report validated Tuesday. This, this has been going on for probably since June of last year. Findings of mail delays, inaccurate reporting of those delays, and improper scanning. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this piece of mail for like two weeks. I have yet to receive it. The Baltimore region, with the second most missing mail inquiries in the country. With more than three times the national average. You think we had a problem there? Maryland representatives among those requesting the OIG report. Inspectors found a variety of specific problems across multiple post offices in June. Here at Clifton Station, letters postmarked in March were undelivered. They found mail sitting here at the Essex Post Office more than four weeks that hadn't even been sorted. And the letter postmarked in December was still here in Dundalk six months later. That, that's shocking. That's, that's a long time. Something's got to be done. This is in, it's insane to keep doing, like, doing this and expecting better results. Maryland's new district manager agrees with the OIG's seven recommendations to improve service. We've been calling for the resignation removal of Postmaster DeJoy for a long time. But Maryland Democrats want to see the Postmaster General go. And with the president coming tomorrow, I'm sure that somebody's going to grab his ear. Back live now here in Dundalk, Congressman Infume wrote President Biden today. Here's a copy of that, lad, that letter asking him to remove the chair of the United States Postal Service Board of Governors. He says he'll talk to the president about it in person when President Biden is here just down the street at the port tomorrow. For now, reporting live at Dundalk at 5 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.